Friday, May 31st, the Claude Cox Omniplex was host to the 2019 Senior Games, an event sponsored by the MCN Elder Services and Diabetes Programs. This event is an opportunity for Muskogee Elders to compete in fellowship, as well as get up to date at the many information tables at the event. Muskogee Vision spoke with Kathleen Fitzgerald, director of the Oklahoma Senior Games, about her organization and the importance of sports and competition for seniors. What we do is we get, uh, provide competition for people who are 50 years and older in a variety of 20, 21 different sports. And we do it uh, in the months of September and October. We age group everybody, so you're always competing. It, it makes you feel like you're back in high school. You're always competing against people who are your age, 50 to 54, 55 to 59. And our organization is sanctioned to send people every other year to national competition. So you have to be one of the top finishers in your age group in your sport and you qualify then to go to nationals. When you go to nationals then you're competing against people from like South Dakota, from you know California, from all over. And just for example in my age group there I do the dashes so there are usually 30, 35 other runners that I'm competing against, but they're all in my age group. And if I do it over a series of years, which I do, then I can see how my times are from one year to the next to the next. So it, it, it helps you in two ways. It's, it helps you evaluate your physical performance, but you also make friends because you'll make friends when you do the games in Oklahoma. You'll make friends when you do them in, 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 at nationals. Let's say you're an athlete, then you know that date is coming, and so you have to prepare for it. You don't. It's not a recreational thing that you just oh by the way you do. You prepare for it, and that helps you with your weight. You get friends. It's like a whole, a whole, a whole package, not, not just the games. What we do, we have team sports of basketball. We tried to do softball, but we didn't have enough participants. But we're hoping that that, that will gain some traction there. Then we have a lot of individual sports. Some are super active, things like swimming, uh, track and field, pickleball, badminton, table tennis, tennis. And then some that are not as active, things like uh, shuffleboard, golf croquet, uh, washer pitch, uh, cornhole, horseshoes. So there's a whole variety of, act of activities that people can do. And some things you can do alone, like archery. And we have, we have one of the women is a national caliber archer that, that participates in the games. Um, some uh, you need a partner or you're more comfortable with a partner. Half of our money comes from fees that we charge to, for uh, people, to, athletes to participate. Half of it comes from sponsors. We do have one angel grant that helps us, uh, but that's basically our funding. National competition is really cool. They move it from different, around different areas in the nation. Last time it was in Birmingham, Alabama. This year in June, it's going to be in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then two years hence, it's going to be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And the nationals are every other year, so this is not a qualifying year for nationals, but next year will be. We have a men's softball team, 85 and over, going to nationals, and a huge number of them are Native American. It is so cool because what has happened is 
they used to play on different teams. So they kept in touch all through the years. And now a lot of people have died or have dementia or whatever. So these people have come together. If you are interested in participating or supporting the Oklahoma Senior Games, go to okseniorgames.com or contact Kathleen at 727-776-1877.